Hey. Hello, hello, my happy quilters. It is one o'clock. It is one o'clock. Maybe on a couple of minutes afterwards. On Wednesday. <laughs> and we're here live from Pine Needle Squilt and Sew in Rochester, Minnesota. This is the Marsha and Joy Show. It sure is. And it's been <laughs> an exciting one. Hello, December. Right. December 1st, oh. right on the dot. I know. This is December 1st. I can't believe where this year has gone. Don't That's know. kind of crazy. So December, the first part of the month, you know we have new theme for jokes. Right. So what is our theme for this month, Marcia? Ha ha ha. <laughs> ha ha ha. No, I mean ho ho ho. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> All right. We I thought that was our We're going to have Santa jokes. Excellent. I know. Okay, I'm set. I thought we. I thought that would be a good. Good one to do for this exact month. So, yes. Santa jokes. So, uh, do you know what nationality um, Santa is? No, I don't. North Polish! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Those Polak jokes? North Polak. I know. Well, North you Polish. know, I'm a bit of a Polak. I know you are, in many ways. <laughs> yes, I am. In the traditional Proud sense, so. in the hereditarial sense. Exactly. And, <laughs> and it's a good thing. It is. It is so very good. I'm not we, dissing it at all. I know. So before we came live, I was just explaining to Marsha, I've been to the North Pole, and I've met with Santa in Lapland at the North Pole. And she didn't believe me, so I'm going to bring, She's picture gonna bring a picture of the real Santa Yep, Claus. I've got the North Pole stamp that I crossed that North Pole line. Is that like a passport? Like a Christmas passport thing? No, but well, I do have my reindeer license, but it has expired. It is. It's true. I have that, too. I, I'll find it. Oh, how cute. Well, anyways, <laughs> okay, on, on, a, on. On, a Santa, on the Santa Slash vein, what do you call a child that does not believe in Santa? Oh, I have no idea. A rebel without a clause. <laughs> It's going to be a great month, guys. It's going to be wonderful. It's going to be a great month. Okay. That's a great way to start things off. Now, I know that everyone is waiting for the reveal of the mystery quilt. I know Today I is the day. Am. However. They have to wait. Just like yes, Christmas. We have a lot of other things to show you first. Okay. But it's going to be worth the wait. If you want to tell them about how they can get a gift certificate. Of course, because we love all of you peeps. Uh, like, comment, and share in the comment feed here. And two of you will receive a $10 certificate from our random drawing. It will be posted on our weekly email. If you do not subscribe to that already, please do. And the third ten dollars certificate is for our trivia winner of today. So stay tuned for the trivia question. But hey, ten dollars is every, kind of a fun. Every week we do a fun quilting right. trivia question, and the first one that gets their answer to Susie's computer is our winner for that too. Boy, we have some um, fast typers. When we do this week's winner, well, I've got a story to tell. We we did the Black Friday or the Plaid Friday thing, and mm -hmm. so we didn't do the winner. So next week. There's going to be two weeks of winners. And then we had a kind of <coughs> snafu on the auction, too, that we'll talk about later. You know, we're not perfect, So we? our weekly email schedule got way off, and so next week there will be last week's and this week's winners. Okay. So also, we're going to feature a few products here today on the show. And if you're interested in any of those, you can go to our website, and you can click on this link right here. After you get to the website, you hit Shop, and that will be with the first thing that pops up. And it has all of the featured items for today. And they will be up there until next Wednesday. Sounds good. So <coughs> that will be a lot of fun. Well, we do have some new fabric in this store. And you are going to be happily surprised mm -hmm. by it. Because it is the Tula Pink. And everybody seems to absolutely love Tula Pink. So if you will unwrap that. What's not to love about, you know. Tula Pink. Oh, my goodness. So Free bright, spirit wraps them up they tight. They do. Bright and shiny, and we will And this is called camera. Daydreamer. It is Daydreamer. So this is Tula's latest um, fabric. So I think this is the main print. And I'm going to open this one up a little bit because it's two. What are those birds? Flamingos. Flamingos. Pink flamingos. 
So this is the Fat Quarter Pack, and we ordered in quite a few of these. Is that a flamingo too? No. No, that looks like a macaw or a parrot. Different color macaw. Okay, so we got a really pretty... This is an oh, orange ombre. ombre. Right. My goodness. So collage artists, this these is are very some great choices here. Some butterflies on orange. This is tigers. Do you think they're cheetahs? Cheetahs. Cheetahs. Some happy sunshines on citrine. A beautiful geometric. Oh. This is fruit. Fun. Here's more cheetahs. Purple cheetah on green. More beautiful butterflies. And more beautiful butterflies. But These ones are scale. even bigger scale. Yep, another beautiful geometric. More lovely fruit. Here's oh. another ombre. Oh, look at that. That is really pretty. Gosh, I love that. The cool the works, people. Prints That's a back. great yeah. choice for those the macaw pattern that you could do an ombre. Really yep. And then we've got more of these birds. Are gonna, they two cans? Are they two cans? I don't know. Put in the comments below if you know what those birds are. I'll give you a close up of this bird to see what it is. Because sure. you know a chance to win a certificate. That's right. And more sunshine. Another beautiful ombre. Ooh, Isn't that pretty? Yes. Wow. Purple to pink. And the geometric print, the purple to pink with the orange in there too. Here again is the main print with the two flamingos. On a pale pink background. And here's this guy again. Pretty, pretty bird. Sunshines. And again, this is not, is this an ombre? Yes, it is. But look at that. The dots. Critters on there. Ooh, this is really fun. That is really fun. Huh. Okay, so there we have it. New Tula Pink. Um, so 22 fat quarters in a pack. Line is called Daydreamer. We have the yard goods. And we have the Fat Quarter Packs and some other pre -cuts. We got Jelly Rolls. We got lots of charm packs and things like that, right. too. So, um, Tula lovers, look no further. We have it all. We do. We do yes, have it all. Absolutely. Okay. All right, so now we're going to talk about the 60-degree runner kits. The oopsies. Because last week, remember, we were going to have these for the auction. Well, guess what? We found two more kits. So the deal is I can't get rid of these until... The last two are Till sold. all of the kits are sold. So these are the beautiful little gnomes, um, 60 degree runners. You've got enough in that kit to make both of these. And you have the pattern. And you have the pattern. So there's only two of those kits left. And if we get those sold, then we can put them on the auction or right. whatever. So we have those. That was the snafui from last time, so that. And if you don't have the 60-degree ruler, make sure you get that as well so you can make the project. Right, exactly. It's and great. everyone should have a 60-degree triangle should. ruler That in is their a life. good one. We also have some wonderful new pillowcase kits oh here. Oh, my gosh. These are so fun. I love these. These are, like, I like most of them, but this, this year, Christmas, we had Alyssa pick these out for us. She did a really nice job picking them out. So we can show them one at a time. Yes. Look at this one. Isn't that cute? This is um, the little, um, like, Christmas little animals, deers. Um, and that's hot dog pillowcase kit number yep. three. They'll be pictured on the website. They will. This is oh. really pretty. This is um, um, for the blue and the denim lovers out there. This with the snow-covered trees, the snowflakes. This one is just lovely. Now, these pillowcases are great to give as stocking stuffers. Um, you can make them or you can give the fun little kits just as they are. Um, grandchildren love them. Um, I put jammies in them. Right, and, and my mom, my like people that like, okay, you don't really know what to get grandma. She's either in assisted living or in a apartment like my right. mom was in not assisted living. What do they call that? Retirement. Yes, retirement home. But she didn't have help. She was independent. Independent, independent living. living. But you know, they have to downsize. You know, the them. first thing to go is the memory marshal. Yeah, I'll, I'll be over there pretty soon. <laughs> Anyways, um, when they don't have a lot of room, I mean, you can't be buying stuff and buying stuff for them right. because they only have so much room. 
Um, my mom absolutely loved these, and so then she'd have a different, we'd give her a pillowcase kit, she'd have a different one, and she would change it out according to the seasons. And then if I gave her a new one for next Christmas, I told her, you don't have to use last year's, you can use just this year's, you know? And so that one is pickup trucks and plaid. Fun little gifts. So this one is hot dog pillowcase kit number one. I know it's good. And these are 15 minute pillowcases, so the first one might take you a half an hour. Or 45 minutes. But after that, it's like 70 minutes. Yep, this one's really, really fun. And then this one is a little bit more classic. And um, this is made with the fabrics that, if the, for those of you that were at VIP, um, this matches your quilt absolutely perfectly. And there's little words. So if you have new readers in your life, um, they kind of like to look at that stuff at night. Right. So four new wonderful winter pillowcase and kits I think I'm going to have to make them all. I know, they were pretty. You already have yours made. I do. I do. I have four gifts made. You do. <laughs> All right. Absolutely. And then, after that, what is up there next? Oh, the new machine embroidery classes. You're going to have to kind of squish them out. Oh, gosh. Can we start with this one? Yes. So this is not a club, but this is really uh, aimed at Bernina, owners of the bigger machines, the 790 and the 880, and now also the 770 plus machine because it utilizes pinpoint placement and you need the bigger hoop and uh, the technique is to not only learn your embroidery better but also how to join the bottom to the top seamlessly uh, when you hoop twice. Custom lettering. Custom lettering, yes. So we'll use the lettering built into your machine. And arced and a little help, bit. Is yep, it arced, arced a little bit? Yeah, placed. So. so this is coming up December 9th, I believe. Yeah. Susie will put that there's on there. There's still time to come, but this the is fun, class. fun little project. It really is. Very, very So that's fun. our snow globe class. And so then that's we have one. embroidery club happening in December. Yes. And then um, Kindred has just got the um, January project just finished for us. So we'll start with December. And that's the luggage tag. And um, the luggage tags are coming in very many colors. This isn't all the colors that we have. We have lots of them. Um, so you can also order extra luggage tags. These would be a great stocking stuffer or somebody who's going to maybe take a trip or something. But these are all, uh, this is embroidering on leather, all leather, and you're going to get the complete CD with all the monograms. So you're going to get a full collection of monograms, right. and then it's in two sizes. There's a small and a large, and I believe Kendra is going to show you how to, even the small one has to be, um, Reduced a, wee Reduced a wee bit to fit on this, and she's going to go through that um, in and, our club. And our clubs um, are virtual, All and virtual. they are recorded, and they are afterwards put onto YouTube, so you can view them later as well. Right. So even if you can't attend live virtually on the day that she's offering club, you can watch it when it's convenient for you. We've had a lot of people asking, too, that... Like, we, Kendra gives away a lot of door prizes every time we have right. um, club. And they say, well, how do I qualify for a door prize? Well, we have a list of everyone who has purchased the, the, club, for the, the club for the month. And those numbers are put in a hat. And then she draws those out during um, the live presentation. Right. So if you want to be um, in for the... The drawing. The drawing. You need to sign up for this, but right. it's twenty nine ninety nine, and this I believe is thirty nine ninety nine. Right. And, and the tags here are twelve ninety nine. So it's always a good value, and it's always a lesson. Kendra is always teaching you something new every time in an embroidery club, virtually. And it's a wonderful time to set aside time for you to learn your personal embroidery machine because they hear it all the time. They come for class and they they really don't feel confident. But when you use your machine every month and you have kind of a focus you do do grow okay this one is adorable this has got to be january right? this is january's now so this is called the trapunto snowflake runner so this is an in the hoop trapunto project and also quilting around them in the hoop now this project actually is should be twice this long, but just this. these are learning projects, so we try to keep them simple enough. So and you're gonna small. make this smaller one, that we're gonna include all the fabrics for you to make the smaller one. Mm -hmm. So it's really half, but you're gonna be doing all of the designs that are on there. So you will learn how to do that. 
and so it includes all of the designs and then also there is a recording on your USB, no this is a CD, um, of from Emily Scott. She also goes through how to make these as well as Kendra doing it online for you. So it's a so super deal. It really is. Um, so you get, and you can use these designs on anything, these snowflake right? designs. They're really, really pretty. So that is our January project. Do sign up for that. Susie will put the Link. Uh, link to this pro to the class and to sign up for this and once again this is our January one and if you want to participate and qualify for those door prizes then you need to sign up yep cute very fun it's fun would this be a good time can we talk about these and yes, please. snowflakes so we since we're forget. talking about snowflakes I want to talk about January jingle dollars um, Marcia had this wonderful idea while you shop in our store you have to be in our store this month for every ten dollars you spend on product, you will receive a one dollar jingle dollar jingle January jingle. We do cash. have a dollar one there. We do have a dollar one right here. For every here. ten dollars, you get a dollar back. Of course, there's a couple exclusions, but you know they're on the card. So it'd be Bernina and Baby Lock products, you know irons, etc., etc. But so much in our store qualifies for these. So you collect them during December. And then, Marsha, when do they get to spend them? January. January. January 1st to the 31st. Bring them in anytime in January and spend your January jingle. Now, okay, I'm going to Arizona for January. We'll save them for next January. This is going to be an ongoing thing that we're going to do every December. Well, we're going to start right after Thanksgiving um, every year. And so if you don't use them this year, bring them in save next them January. for next year. Or if you're saving up for something big, save a couple years in a row. But anyways, these are just like free free money for you. January jingle. Spend your money in January for every purchase. For every ten dollar purchase, you're gonna get a dollar. And because it is money, mm -hmm. if you lose it, just like you lose your ten dollar bill, it's not replaceable. You're gonna want to hang on to it. We're so not putting names on them. Say we're gonna recycle them. So right. it's just like money for pine needles. So I know. Lots of I fun. love that. So January jingle. Come on in and see us. Okay. I, we were talking about snowflakes, so I felt that, like I think we that's needed great. To talk I think we that. need to talk now about the featured um, <gasps> fat pack. Yes. And it is pretty fun. I'm gonna squish, squish them together here. All right, so I'm you can gonna, fan them out. I'm going to do that. They're called <laughs> lipstick. This is called lipstick. These are beautiful. Every single one of these is a Moda Red from a couple of different lines. And then, of course, uh, it's always, of course, I always try to put in a grunge as well. Right. So these are some just tone on tone. This is just a small print. That's lovely. This is a beautiful paisley. And here is our grunge in lipstick. And here's just kind of a floral tone on tone again. This is kind of a swirly bind type thing. And then another floral here. So you can see these are beautiful for your stash. They're so rich. Um, I'm gonna go back to the big camera. Um, and you're these, for sure are, have these. these are special uh, fat quarters unique to pine needles. They are. And six for only $17.99. Yep. They're regularly what, $21.99. So we have them on special. Here for you. Um, every week we try to curate a special six pack just for you. They're gorgeous. It is fun. I think I may need more than one, Marsha. Those that's a good one. It is a good one. I mean one. they're all good, but you know, know. who can't you use know, red. The red work quilts that I'd love I know. to make. Absolutely. Okay. Alright, so the next thing we have happening is the countdown to the holidays. I know. You want and to tell them what we've been doing? Oh my gosh. We have had so many fun quilt as you go projects. And uh, we have picked together fabrics so you can do a complete idea or if you want to pick from your stash and do some stash busting in your life you can buy just the blank so today Marcia we've got the quilt as you go pillow set now this is just the blank and then we have right the so I with the, the whole kit and this one here. you want the whole kit and caboodle because there's enough fabric in here to make three All pillows three pillows it's and a big bunch of fabric in here and this is how we imagined these pillows, but you can imagine the fabric combinations however you want. Right, you can put them together. They include this beautiful flannel from, um, this is a Holly Taylor flannel. Mm -hmm. It's called Fall, Fall Expressions or something like that. And then also it's got the um, binding. an F flannel backing. So it comes with the, the binding. These are great to throw around for anybody. 
And the patterns are so easy. You know, all the instructions are in the kit and you have what you need. So make all three pillows. And the thing is, is you wouldn't have to make them exactly the way I chose right. to sew them. You can put them you together put them in different ways. Mm -hmm. But where there's plenty of fabrics in there, like I said, to do all of them, all three pillows. So a pillow set, you can. And they're so them, cozy because they're all flannel. You can give them to one person or all. Now the regular price on these is fifty nine ninety nine. We've taken ten dollars off, so forty nine ninety nine. It includes oh, everything nice. you need except the pillow form. So you have right. to get those yourself. And it calls for a 16 inch filiform, I think, in here, and I used an 18. I just kind of like. You squished the 18 in there? I like Good a little job. bit more. Well, you know, it, you, I'm sure you have family members that like to sit and hug the pillows at mm -hmm. Christmas or Thanksgiving, yeah. so these are very huggable. So that is our uh, counting on to the holidays for this week. Yes. All right, we're getting closer to that reveal, but not quite yet. Not yet. Oh, you're such a tease. You're it's, such a tease. It's time for the trivia. Can you show the back of the pillows? Sure. Show me the back I of the did. pillows. So they're, um, stick your hand in there. There's a flap. Yep. But it's really generous. I mean, the way they do it so that, that the underwear are not going to slide out. No, and actually there was plenty to make it even a deeper pocket if you prefer. And if you had a zipper, you could do zipper or buttons, but the pattern is for the But you don't really flaps. need to. No, because it's it's a good deep... It is. Um, I noticed that when I was putting the pillow I in. did blind hem. Just saying, I saw that. I noticed that. Because I like blind hem because finishes. Because you can. Because I can. It's right. easy. All right, so trivia. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. I knew this one. Okay. I, I think, don't know what the question I is I think you yet. will, too. Okay, trivia. Um, the hole in the barn door is another name for what popular quilt book? Hole in the barn door. <laughs> well, I can see the answer for that. Is a, I didn't know the answer either. I did know this one. You did know this one. Okay. Hole in the barn door is an is another name for this very very popular quilt block. Okay. I've, you've made a lot of them. I've made a lot of them. Exactly. Over it's the one years. of my favorites, but I'm not going to say what it is because somebody so has to guess it. We'll wait and remember for everybody's the internet. Dollar. Yep, everybody's internet speeds are a little bit different, so it's the first one that comes over there into Susie's computer. Okay. 30% off of a kit. The one behind us is beautiful. We have only three kits left. So we don't have any sale fabric this time, but we do have this beautiful, beautiful quilt that Joy made. Ho Ho Holly. It's so it's called even Ho themed. Ho Holly. We'll wait. Woo. Ho Ho Holly and it turn it around. Lots of lovely fabric, a jelly roll. It's 60 by 73. Very fun to make. Yes. Patterns included. Exactly. Right. So 30% off on this today. Only three, so the first three to get them. All moda fabrics. Yes. It was a fun quilt in the And we have a winner. Winner, we winner, chicken dinner. And it is Leslie Albert. Congratulations, Yay. Leslie. Congratulations to Leslie. The answer is churn dash. And I've made a ton of churn dashes. Hole in, my life. in the barn is also called Makes churn sense. dash. Makes sense. Absolutely. Because, you know, a barn is. Uh -huh. Very good. Okay. Okay. Well, the trivia is over and the 30% off kit is over. Oh, yeah, more stuff. Oh, well, she's kind of taking my time because you're killing me. <laughs> I know there's a lot of people waiting and waiting so for this. Carla, how are you doing? How are you doing today? Should we take this down? Let's take this one down. All right. So we have this beautiful Minnesota quilt. It's kind of winter themed, winter Minnesota. And I have a request. We have two. Count them. Two quilts for this left. This is a quilt, Minnesota. Alyssa, Joy's daughter, who also works here, is going to be going to meet her uh, longtime boyfriend's family in Costa Rica over Christmas time. She would love to take this to Costa Rica to present to his family when she goes. But it can't go until the, all the kids the are gone. The rule here <laughs> is that when the last kid's gone, you can take your quilts home. So we want you to help Alyssa take this. So what we're doing with those two kits, now because it's Quilt Minnesota, you know, we can't put these fabrics on sale until after. One month after Quilt one, Minnesota. Or one week or two weeks after Quilt Minnesota of next year is over. 
So we have this beautiful, beautiful kit with the pattern. Anyone who And it has this beautiful blue plaid that Which is rare. Which is rare. It's no like you can't hardly it's find it. It's rare, it's extinct. But actually. we're adding to this that we're not putting this on sale. But we're adding Oh I forgot to bring the actual <coughs> towels in. You did. Two kits, not one, so you're gonna get four dish towels. Kits. What? You're giving him I'm a giving set? two whole sets. Two whole sets per wow. this. So these are these are super fun. They have little eleven ninety nine each. So twenty two, twenty four. They're gonna get twenty four dollars worth of those, the dish towel kits, and um, for the, the first two to get these. So please help Alyssa take this to Co Costa Rica with her <laughs> <laughs> at Christmas time because if the kids aren't gone. It will have to stay. And the quote has to stay home. Right. Oh, gosh. Okay. So, free towel set. All right. It is time. The time has arrived. <laughs> Four. The final clue. Okay. Oh, it's the final countdown. She's been waiting all, all right. for this. So, this is my bag. Actually, she's been waiting since, yes, last week. I have them. Because I took it home and put it together. Over the my little Thanksgiving break. Yep. But first, what I want to show you here is. Let's see what's in here. First, what I want to show you is. <laughs> I snorted you. I know you did. You cracked me up. <laughs> I know. I want to show you that you have. I don't know. I miscut these. These though, I didn't have in my little things. I don't know exactly why, but I want to show you that you do, well, they can't really see. Okay, I'm going to go here. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to show you here. These are, no, they can't, wait, no. Where's my ones? Okay, these set over here. Oh, I need goodness. this. So these are all the leftovers in my kit. Um, so you do have quite a few of the blues leftovers. So if you did make some mistakes or... Um, if Whatever you're, color way you have. Right, or if something, you know, like, you know, you can change it out. And so these are what I had left over. Um, here's the leftover for this. And then remember, we put an extra light um, fat quarter. I didn't have to use that. So you do have plenty of leftovers. I wanted to show you the leftovers first. And now I'll take this pile. So these, now, I'm going back to this one. Clue number 10 is mm -hmm. today. That is going up in a, at about... A clock about is not a, right, is it? I know it isn't. <laughs> it's nowhere related It's going to it. up about a half an hour to 45 minutes after we conclude today's um, live. Because we don't want to spoil the surprise. Well, and then we also want to take a picture and post okay. a picture. We, right. haven't, we haven't done that yet and post it um, so that you'll have a picture in color of the finished quilt because on your final clue, just like it has been this whole time, all the clues are in black and white. And because then you can imagine your colors. It's gonna be helpful. Yes. It's gonna be very helpful. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to here. I'm gonna show you this, what I have in here. You sure brought a lot of lint with you today, Marcia. I did. You should okay. see the floor of my sewing room. I can imagine. It looks like All right, mine. so what we're going to do now is you have, no, don't need this, don't need this yet. So what you had was, remember we had these and these that we sewed together from last time. And what you're going to do with these now is, oh. No, I got them all. They're all right here. Is this one, we've already done. So that goes like this. Then you're gonna take one of your your darks and then that your accent on my quilt, it's green and blue, and you're gonna sew those together like this. So you've already made this and you've made these and you have to grab one of these and put it here like this. And then you've already got these made too. So you're going to sew these together just like this, and they're going to make 14 of these. 
and they're pressing to the dark side. Well, no, not necessarily. This one was pressed to the inside because... Follow the instructions. Follow the instructions. Yes. These these ones, they've already got pressed. This mm -hmm. one, you're going to... Yeah. They're, they will be on the direction. So anyways, you're going to sew 14 of these together. Okay. And that's that. Then, also in your finishing directions, you're going to need... Let's see, you already cut... Um, I think it's this piece here. You cut quite a few of these and you've got those and then those there are here, four right that are a little bit shorter than this too. And then you're going to be making a bunch of these. But you're not going to be making these until you get the center sewn together. So, you kind of have to see the center, don't you? In order to know how to sew these on. Are we ready to reveal? Are we ready? Alright, here it is. Now this is the blue one. one. Two, three! Woo! Woo! Isn't that lovely? That is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my whole life. That is a lot of small pieces and you did it. Absolutely, because they're just down to the big oh, chunks now. Oh man! No way, you didn't make a mistake. Right here! What? These no. are turned! No, they're not. You sure? Oh, no, they're not. See, they look like they are. Oh, gosh, she's scaring but me. This is the white star. Remember when you turned them when I was right, showing right, them? Right, 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 right. So anyways, we have these six blocks with the light backgrounds going down the mm -hmm. middle. And then we have these with the dark backgrounds going around the outside. No, these are the whites, dark background. Wait, no, white backgrounds, dark backgrounds, correct. <laughs> You're gonna have to follow the instructions and it's a good thing she's taking a picture. Okay, I will tell you, this one is not to drink a couple of glasses of wine and try to put it together. No, if, if you do that, you'll be ripping. So what we have is these blocks that you made and then we have giant so, uh, courthouse step blocks with the Irish chain going And you together. wanted to show where these pieces were Yes, going. I wanted to show you now. When you go to put this together, I don't know if they can see up here. Well, we'll start here. Well, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you here. I'm gonna put it on a close up and I'm gonna go all the way up here. There you go. So you're gonna start by putting these together. You're not gonna do any of this outside. You're gonna start right here and you're gonna put these ones together that you've already got made. So do you see where the top of your blocks are is where you're going to start putting and things so together. so this, this is the piece you're talking right. about. Then you're going to sash. You're going to sew this row together and then you're going to sash. Now you won't have that one has the greens one. on. You'll have, we'll just put it back here. Then you're going to sash and watch the placement of your lights and your darks. darks as you go across here. And then I sewed this row together. And then again, once that was sewn together, you're gonna come and sash this. Another row right. in between. Now who would have thunk? Cause that is not how I would have thought that would split Me together. either. And I thought, oh, I'm just gonna make these big blocks and then yeah, I read the directions better, and this is the most efficient way to put it together. And I just started at the top and worked my way down. Then, um, I'm going to go back to the big camera here. Then when you get to... No, I'm going back over here to the close-up. I think you need the close-up one. Um, I want to get over to... And if we lose our feet, it's because Marcia pulled the edge back. here. Camera too. I'm going to go to the edge. So then when you get the center part all totally put together to these edges to these edges and then all the way around so you're just doing this middle part first then you're going to come and this is the block that i just showed you this here this here and then you had a bunch of these and you're going to put that and you're going to sew this next border one side and then the other. Now you have to 
take a piece you've got these cut already and this is a little bitty piece that has to go in here and then this one is a different size piece of this so just do the center do one side sew all of this together sew it onto your big piece go over to the other side do the same thing lay it out maybe take a picture yep and then do your top and your bottom and then after you're all done you do the outer five inch border this one here okay so you're gonna do this whole center you're going to do with these sashings these little sashings in here you sew your blocks together these sashings sew the blocks together these sashings sew the blocks together um, these also have to have sashings in here can you see yep. yep they're gonna have to see here and here but they don't have the greens because the green the green ones oh, yeah, go on pieces yep the green ones go on the bottoms so as you're sewing these together you have to put a sashing piece between your blocks here and here and here and then down here that will be dark colors and then here's your here's your other one so in between each one of these blocks you've got either a light or a dark one of these so like i said i'm going to take a picture of this um, after we're done here so that you can look at this to kind of look because of the black and white pictures for uniformity of the pattern it works well but it is kind of confusing and I will tell you that uh, starting to do it on you know there was a couple places where I had a white one where it should have been a blue one or I had a blue one where it should have been a light one. Can yes. you show a close up of the quilting, please? Yes. Well, I'll do the best that I can. Can you watch to make sure that I don't unplug anything? That's about as close as we get. I don't know if I can. Nope, you can't. I can't. I will try I'll post a picture of the quilting. Uh, close up of the quilting in the um, comments. How about that? We had a swirl paisley, and it's actually an Amanda Murphy quilting design, I believe, that we used. Yep, we did use it because the paisleys. Now, I do want to point something out here, and the police are not going to come and get me. But to are our dear sure? friend Carla, my goodness, here. I thought of you when I sewed this together because these two are the same one, and they're touching. And I didn't take them out. And in random, that happens. I know, and there's a couple other places on here, too. If you ask a mathematician. Yep. However, if you stand back and you look at this, it is scrappy, it is random, it is mismatched, but it is also very beautiful. <laughs> it is, because it's a, it's a lesson in color. It is a lesson in color, and it also is a lesson, I doubt, very many of you that did this with us, you might not have... Uh, participated with us if you would have known how much small pieces there are in this. Well they knew from the first call. Well I guess they did 229, <laughs> 229 green squares but um, this one was fun and I think we kept you all guessing till the very end because um, we were reading who, your comments. who would have thought who would have thought that it would turn Best out like this. mystery quilt yet. It is it was a good one. Well good. done, Marcia. And actually, for me, this one's mine. I'm keeping it. She put flannel on I the back. I put a beautiful, um, well, it's one of those pillow flannels. Yep. On the back because I, I want mean. it nice and toasty. Okay. There you go. So, <clears throat> you're coordinated. Here. There you have it. Now, you're going to have to wait until we're done here. We're just about done um, to, to go and find the clue. Um, right. It will be on, but i got to take a quick picture of this. And then I got to give it to the gal on her website because I didn't want to give away. We didn't want any the reveal because we knew you'd look. I know because like, I would have looked. Read the end of the. I would have looked. The mystery. But congratulations to all of you. You made it. 
It's um, and continue to post your pictures. Because absolutely, we'd love every that. day. Marcia and I and other Pine Needles um, employees here, we're looking to see what you're making, and we're so excited. And Carla, thank you so much for your commentary every step of the way. Um, that was really fun too, and I, I put on there too that I'm going to have to figure out something, some kind of project to send her way so we can keep her on the <laughs> peeps page with her funnies because it's awesome. So, anyways, thank you everybody for participating. Um, we will do another mystery here sometime, probably, maybe not till s summer. But if you love our mystery projects, oh, wait a summer. Well, we're maybe gonna a small one. Do you remember we're gonna do a springtime retreat, virtual retreat? Oh with a yeah, mystery. yeah, 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 yeah. Well, okay. So we got kind Dad. of one thing per season. Right. Um. So, I can't wait to see the other um, colorways of these all the way totally done. No. I think that's going to be really quite fun too. So thank you again everybody for participating. Um, you've got some leftovers. You can make um, some fun things, maybe pillowcases or throw pillows to go along with um, your quilt. And happy quilting. And like I said, take your time and kind of follow the directions. And we're there available on the Peeps page if you have any questions about anything. And like I said, I'll do a close up of the quilting and um, the, there the will post. be a picture on the download. There will be a picture with the download. Right. For the final, final clue. Now we're going to probably leave those up till the end of December, all of those clues. So if you've not downloaded those and printed them off, you're going to want to do that by December 31st. We'll leave them up for a month. So. Okay. All right. So this week's auction is some fun winter things. So we're going to, um, this fun little embroidery belly sunny snowman this is a limited edition of one of the embroider buddies and it says little it's got snowflakes and let it snow he is so soft and cuddly and then three little pillows wintertime pillows that are going along with this little guy so, so this is small little set small little things yep and this fun little for some whoever grandbaby and or, we'll include that the we'll include the pillow forms too because they were custom made absolutely the there you go. So, thank you so much for joining us today here at the Marsha and Joy Show, coming to you live from Rochester, Minnesota. Um, congratulations again to everybody who's working on, stuck with us through the Mystery Quilt. And if you're just getting started on your clues, that's you okay too. too. Yes, right. absolutely. Um, so, until next week, we will keep you in stitches. Thanks, everybody. Have a great afternoon. Bye. Bye-bye.